I know that there's nobody socialized in gynecology to do palliative medicine. And as a surgeon, you want to cure, you want to help immediately. And that was the reason why I forced the program committee to place palliative surgery as their own topic besides the value of palliative chemotherapy or any cancer treatment. And I started the dialogue with the new definition, what means palliation? Because surgery today is something different than 10, 50 years before, and that's the same with cancer treatment. And what is the value of best supportive care and how to discriminate between end of life support and best supportive care in the beginning of a salvage treatment in ovarian or cervical cancer. So, and what I like to highlight is that we have to reflect our medical intervention and to define even the goals, how to help the patient and even to look what are the alternatives besides surgery, for instance, in case of bowel obstruction, to use endoluminal stents or to make CT-guided percutaneous um, enterogastrostomata to decrease the symptoms what influence the quality of life in this chronic disease. Otherwise, not to be nihilistic, because we have ev enough evidence that even in relapse, in some palliative settings, we can improve progression-free survival, we can improve overall survival, we can improve the time to subsequent treatment, and that is the backbone for a better and much deeper discussion how to deal with palliative medicine in gynecology.